it? Okay. Uh, my name is Christina Prish. I'm a senior at Duchenne Academy. Stop stalling! And this is my piece, Love Letters from Love. Dear Christina, you are a few weeks old and your mother has left you. But there's a family across the globe ready to love you. You'll get out of that confining cage, your first breath of freedom. This is just the beginning of your story. Kind regards. Dear Christina, you are 12 years old. Growing up has gotten harder to tread in with thoughts that drown you because when you were in the geography B, the wrong answer rolled off your lips and you placed second. And you beat yourself up for it. You confided in an unorthodox methods to cope with the excessive thoughts that choke you. Your words couldn't breathe. But you're an artist, a creator, God's perfect apprentice. Yet you love to criticize and destroy your own canvas. You pick and pick at sores all about. Smooth skin over time turned rough. Please take pride in the hue of your skin and the flesh of your ancestors. For your veins flow with rich crimson nectar from the gods themselves. Don't think less of yourself. You are divine with love. Dear Christina, you are 18 years old. Do you love yourself? And when I ask you this, you tell me, I don't know. The curve of your face holds so much love and you don't ever get to see it for yourself. Every mirror or reflection is a distorted image of the human I've cared for so deeply. You don't know how beautiful you are. All these years you've grown from a seedling of thoughts and emotions and the complex and intricate systems of wonders and beliefs, you're wonderful. I've seen you grow and fall, make mistakes and have your heart break. I've seen the brightest smile etch across your face and the softest tears roll down your cheeks. Bottled up emotions consume you to the point of numbness and you don't feel a thing, I worry. I don't know what goes on in the inside, but I see you from the outside, how much you stress and how much it messes with you. Christina, you worry about things you do not control because you think you're out of control, disconnected from yourself and never truly knowing what's good for you when you self-deprecate. I care for you and you don't. Reckless decisions cause consequences you cannot fathom. You run away from problems you can fix, but you don't. You've always cared for others much more than yourself. Putting, but you sat in me when you go home and into your room and cry into your pillow because you're lonely. It's okay, it's okay to appreciate yourself when the society you live in strives for selflessness, putting others before yourself, but who is there to tell you that you're important? I love you, I love you. I have always and will always love you even if you don't ever truly love yourself. Yours truly, love.